You should always speak to your doctor before you change, start, or stop any part of your health care plan, including physical activity or exercise. If you know any of these movements are contraindicated for your body, please skip that exercise and go to one that is indicated for it. Feeling a little space under your back and your tailbone heavy and anchored into the mat. You'll inhale to prepare, using your exhale to deepen the muscular work around your waist, floating your knee up to a 90 degree called tabletop. Inhaling to bring it down and exhaling to float the other side up. The emphasis is always to deepen the connection around your waist as the leg floats up. That connection will help keep the pelvis still as the legs lower and lift. If you're not sure if your pelvis is moving, you can place your hands on your hip bones as you continue to do the movement to make sure that it's still. You need to do about three reps of these on each side, but you want them to be perfect reps. And if they are, you can add on to this challenge called femur arcs. Using your exhale, you'll lift one knee at a time to tabletop. And when you do that, you'll feel your spine getting heavier into the mat. This is an imprinted spine. Using your inhale to lower one leg to the mat and then using your exhale to reconnect that waist even deeper to float it back to tabletop. You want to again feel that the pelvis is steady through the movement as you lower and lift and this movement is much more difficult so only adding this addition if you've perfected the first and it's pain free. Yeah, whenever Starting with your hands holding to the back of your legs and your arms straight. As you exhale, your eye gaze will come towards your belly, rolling through the spine nice and smoothly until you're stacked up tall at the top. You want to feel like it's rolling like a roly-poly bug would roll all the way onto your back with straight arms until you come back onto your body, then the arms bend. And same thing, eyes to your belly button as your exhale, feet are heavy. You almost feel as if your legs are pushing into your arms. Inhaling to get length and then straightening your arms, deepening the work around your waist to get your spine nice and round. Your feet begin to lift as your head comes down, taking a nice breath in, straightening your arms, pushing into the back of your legs. As you exhale, that tummy pulls in and gets rounder as you stack all the way up to the top. You want to do about three or four repetitions without using any momentum or force to complete this movement. Taking a breath in to prepare. As you exhale, your abdominals will draw into your body and you'll float one knee at a time to tabletop. And then using your next exhale, you'll float your head away from the mat all the way till you're up to the tip of your shoulder blades. Then you'll begin to pump your arms for a breath in for five pumps and a breath out for the next five pumps. You can see there's a challenge to keep a still spine and a still head as you maintain the lift and length in your body. This is a much more advanced variation, holding the legs up to the ceiling and then lowering them down just a little bit. The focus of this movement is the tummy muscles staying drawn into your body. So if you see your tummy pop out in the middle, you won't add those additional variations. You can even do it with your feet still on the mat. Starting in a quadruped position, you want to create length through your body as you extend one leg out at a time, bringing yourself to a push-up position. Noticing that your hands are directly under your shoulders. With your exhale, you'll float one leg up. And when you inhale, you'll float it down. Using your exhale to draw the waist in and maintaining that connection through the movement 
it's very important that you get that connection because that's what's going to help keep your body still while floating the leg up. There's several variations to this challenge. This is one of them, adding multiple pumps in each leg. But you first want to perfect the beginning variation, which is the single lift, before you add this one. Always imagining that there's a tray of tea on your back that you wanted to keep still. Here's another variation, a, flat, a point flex and then point to return down. Doing about three repetitions of each variation, but only adding the next variation if you perfected the one before. We are so glad that you joined us for Pilates Day 2013, and we love to help you continue the process in making your body the best that it can be. At Synergy Studio, we specialize in Pilates, physical therapy, massage, nutrition, and strength and conditioning. And if you'd like to book a session in any of these services, please give us a call or go to our website. We're looking forward to seeing you soon.